Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, it's my absolute pleasure to be able to introduce you to this new lock pick from Sparrow's Lock Picks, and this is the Monkey Paw, and it happens to be my seventh design collaboration with Sparrow's, so I mean, for me, that's just really, really awesome. Um, it really, really is. So I'm very excited to show this off to you. Before we get on to what it is, um, let's just look at the artwork. I mean, Sparrows are known for doing really cool artworks on, on these broader handle picks, and this is no different. So if you look at the Medusa or the, uh, the Reflection set, you'll see what I mean. This is actually an artwork based off the legend, The Curse of the Monkey Paw, which is a cautionary tale about a, an accursed item. Definitely worth reading. It really is. It's, it's even though it's an older story, it's still kind of spooky and and still, uh, you know, a great warning. So very cool. But the reason it's called Monkey Paw in the first place was because it is a variant of a notched pick. So you'll see if I get a um, another hook here, you'll see that there is a notch just here in the pick tip. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Don't we already have notched picks? And yeah, yeah, absolutely we do. I certainly wasn't trying to reinvent the wheel here. Here's a typical one. Um, this one is actually from Sparrows and it's very, very useful in the right keyway. It's clearly a very deep hook with a, a high angle and a shallow notch on the tip. Downside to having something with um, a high angle and a deep hook is that you're limited to what keyways that you uh, are able to get this hook in. Undoubtedly, very, very useful. Uh, for specific locks in specific circumstances. But for using in your average everyday picking, just, you know, a, a tool which you would use um, straight away as, uh, as ones you go to picks, not so much. Um, and other variants of these notched picks tend to have quite deep notches in as well. And again, whilst very useful, the feedback you get from those um, deeper and deeper notched picks tends to be really confusing, even to experienced pickers. So first thing I wanted to do was make a notched pick which was intuitive and could be used pretty much in any lock as you would a normal short hook, um, but would give extra feedback and extra grip on top of those pins, useful for beginners and experienced pickers alike. You'll notice that, and this is um, a well-used short hook, but you'll notice that the, the reach is only just a tiny amount more than a standard short hook. And there's a couple of features here which really help this pick out. One, there is an angle at the front of the tip here, just there. And this is, well, I don't know what angle it is, let's call it 45 degrees for the sake of argument. And the idea is that when you've got pins in the keyway, you want um, something which isn't going to butt up against the pins, but actually have an angle so it helps move them out of the way if they're, you know, then they're, they're not set yet. So um, it just helps you glide the pick in and out of the keyway. Another thing which we really tried to do here was think about the position of the notch. You'll notice that it's actually a little bit lower than the tip of the hook itself, just a little bit lower. Why? Well, nearly every picker doesn't put a pick in at a right angle and then pull down on the pick. Um, most people, even pins down, would pick at a slight angle. Same with those picking pins up would pick at a slight angle. So the notch is designed to take that into account. And again, to enhance the feedback, not give confusing feedback. It's got a very um, low sort of glide up to the notch. And that means that as a pin is, you're pulling the pick back and the pin is rising up, you'll feel it sort of slide slowly into that notch and stop. And again, the slightly higher tip helps it settle in um, whilst whilst also uh, sort of acting like a back stop, but the shallow notch means that it doesn't sort of grip hold of it and give weird feedback either. So it's that careful balance. Um, and, and that's really what we're going for here. It's just to give intuitive feedback, but allow people to have a short notched hook too. And this is in the Sparrow's uh, 25 thousandth uh, steel uh, that they're famous for. So what I want to do is just uh, cut away to me uh, showing how this works in a, a cutaway lock. And here is that lock. And hopefully you'll be able to see 
um, it's actually picked. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see how the tip allows me to push past some pins and how the notch itself actually allows me to grab hold of those pins as I um, set them. And that backstop, that tip itself here means even though the, the notch is quite shallow, as you um, move this up in the keyway, it's still, and you can sort of see that, can't you, as, as I rise it, it still sort of keeps hold of that pin um, and it just allows you to set it without slipping off it. Um, like I said, it's, it's very hard to explain till you try one of these, but hopefully you'll see it in action here and you'll understand uh, what I meant and where it's going to. Um, when I cut back, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just whiz through a couple of other uh, uh, locks and keyways for you as, as a little demonstration and then uh, I'll go to a conclusion. Right, back in a sec. Okay, so I'm tensioning clockwise and we're going to see how that slight leading angle is able to just push past um, pins as well so I can pick through the warding and hopefully you'll see how when I'm on a pin like this um, you'll see how the little cutout so got the leading edge just move past that pin there that cutout will allow me to get really good purchase on the pin and assist me in setting anything that's sort of binding so I'm going to go through I think, think I'm on pin three and I push so I push past it and then I can feel that pin rise up and then settle into the tiny groove and then I've got to find the next binder and I believe it's pin um, six here and again can you see how that little cutout it's gripping that pin give it a lift and we're open so first up is this little lock chosen because of its very small keyway and it's pretty good bitting um, all things considered and this has a lot of spools in as well clearly a really deep notched pick um, would be very a hard to get into the keyway especially on picking off this warding here and and b not very useful if you've got um, some low set pins which this one certainly does this pick though is is really just like a, a short hook so i should be able to go in and and you know push past the pins find any binders and set them just like a a normal everyday average short hook and it just works brilliantly. No trouble in, in going in and out, no problems sort of navigating under the low set pins. It, it, it just feels like a normal short hook, but with extra feedback. Let's choose something a bit more um, mundane, but actually with a, again, um, reasonable bitting. So you can see it's like club bitting, shouldn't really touch pin one. It's virtually a zero set, I believe. Um, but this pick, even picking um, bottom of the keyway, just gives you really excellent position and feedback on those pins, and you just whiz through the lock. Got um, a nice American lock here. Let's uh, put some tension on the top. And again, we can go top of the keyway and pick all the way from the bottom. And this is 25,000, so you're rubbing I mean, it's really great for picking the pins because you get great feedback from the extra thickness, but it, it's it's rubbing slightly against the warding and the keyway. But that shouldn't matter because um, the tip itself can, you know, you can really feel where you are on those pins. And therefore, even though you are robbed of some of the feedback from the warding, this is quite common in a lot of different locks, when you're on a pin, you really know that you're on it and therefore um, picking it isn't actually that much more of a hassle. And there we go. Last but not least, let's have a look at um, another Euro cylinder with a, a sort of a, a typical bitting here of some um, sort of low, high, low. It's gonna go this time, top of the keyway tension, although we could easily go bottom of the keyway in this, but again, I, because it's so short, I can go off the warding on the side, which again is just a, a good preference for me anyway. Uh, that's pin five, I think, pin four, go back through, three, 
on now, I think. There we go, three, two, and one, I can feel. Oh, <laughs> tension came out, but that lock is definitely open. So again, it just gives you um, uh, just extra feedback, extra grip, extra control, but it's very intuitive. I'm, I'm not trying to go, oh, am I on the pin? Am I not on the pin? It's just very positive. So there you go, the Sparrow's Monkey Paw. I really, really hope you like it, and I hope you can understand where we were going with this variant on the notched pick theme. A pick which I hope could find its way into any kit and be useful in um, nearly any lock you'd use a standard short hook in. It just gives that little extra edge. I imagine newer pickers finding it really intuitive to use and give them that ability to get on top of the pins in a way which uh, new pickers find it difficult to do to begin with. But also, experienced uh, pickers will have no issues in using this either, um, but still get all the advantages of having a, a notch in the tip, that extra little edge in terms of getting feedback and positioning on a pin, especially in tricky locks, uh, especially when you know you might be rubbing against a warding and losing some feedback otherwise. Um, I mean, what I, I guess I really, really wanted to do was to try to make a pick which wasn't going to be only useful some of the time and a pick which is um, nearly always useful most of the time. And I, you know, I think I've achieved that. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, do you think you'd ever use one of these? It's one of those things which if you don't try, it's really hard to explain how um, it feels and how intuitive it feels. Um, but I hope that some of you do get one of these um, and no, I don't get a you know a cut of the profits or anything, so um, it doesn't make a difference if you uh, buy one or not. Um, I just would like to know if you do, um, what you think of it, um, so you can add any of your uh, uh, feedback and stories uh, below in the comments. That'd be really, really useful for me. So all I can say is thank you all for watching. Thank you to Sparrows for uh, bringing this design to life. And I'll see you all next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps. Okay, bye.